Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Uh, let's see. Uh, Traders post, eh? And lost knife hiding. Welcome, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Skyrim. I am a Mashiachosaurus. My cat is screaming at me, as he tends to do. Okay. So I don't think I want to go to Rift. Let's go to White. I know we just came from White Run, but I have a, a couple of things I want to do here. More nights till December Ween, folks. Hope you've all been behaving. Or not, I'm not your mother. Mm. Let's just work there to Eliarkin Farm. guys attacking? Yep. Guess it's all clear now. Looks like my goat's strong. Hello, you cow. You're just many sorts of a sweetheart. <laughs> Are you talking to me or to Ash? <laughs> to Ash. No. Alright. Oh, 
one. Ash egg. Chorus. Chorus egg. egg. Really? You're just going to ignore me now? You cut. What else do I get? I got one moment of you will be absolutely adorable, but now you're ignoring me. Dragon's tongue. Some frost mirror and garlic and bully mushroom and grass pod. Probably got enough chats for you. Let's put a moon sugar down though. I'm not sure why the moon sugar is plantable, but I'm not gonna argue with it. Since we've gone in and collected our articles. What noise? What noise? Seems like something's clicking. Just go to the living room and check Yeah, yeah, just give me one second. Is it raining or snowing? Oh, yes, it's sleeting. It's coming from the living room and it's intermittent noise. Yeah, yeah, no, it's there's sleet. We're we're getting a winter storm actually. Which, you know, if we don't uh, don't make our stream one of these nights, you'll know why. Because <laughs> the storm took us out. Yeah. Okay. Now then. Nice I think our cable is now underground rather than full rooms. Yeah, but it can still get disrupted from like. Yeah, some of them can, like right outside the house, but you know. It's more likely that road construction will cause our internet to go down. Like it did like three times this summer. Yep. It'll do that. Okay. Now, I think that we are going to head north to Dawnstar, first of all. I know we have to go to Solitude to continue our quest lines, but uh, you know, there'll be time for that. What's this? Crumble? I don't hate that very good thing. Maybe we'll do a long Saturday stream. Maybe. We'll be here. Yes. But you do have to prep presents because I have no reviews. Yes, I, I will be prepping presents. I don't do that wrapping paper stuff. <laughs> My extent of wrapping presents is toss in bag and put a tag on it. Nothing else 
actually worth stealing. Oh, by the way, your work for Christmas exchange did you trust the bones of us? Yeah, it went fine. Okay. As far as I know, nobody, nobody, said, nobody, nobody complained. Ew, about somebody it. grabbed a clue. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, why would why would somebody not want to get Clue for a present? Clue is a great game. Us who have no friends, it's just the two of us, and it's impossible to play two player. I would still enjoy having a copy. Of Clue. I, I we actually used to have a copy of Clue, yeah, it was but the woodbound one it lost in the flood. Yeah, like so many other things, it was lost in the flood. But that's fine. Oh, were we gonna bring the totes up as well? Totes. Yeah, under the desk totes. Oh, uh, you, no. You had talked about it, or you're going to keep those for I'm, a while? I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, okay. We have a lot of Legos, and, uh, you know, uh, it's my, my brother's nephew, and, or my brother, my brother, my nephew and niece might uh, enjoy it, but, uh, okay, I want to... There's a few, <laughs> there's like a thousand dollars worth of Legos here. Easily. Easily there's that much. I don't want to go down into that because it's really hard to get out of that once you're down. There. So we're heading uh, a little bit further west than what I intended. Um, you see, we're heading kind of more towards uh, Morthal than Dawnstar. Don't worry, we will we will course correct. It's just that there's a lot of stuff over here. A lot of stuff to discover. Shot the bear in the butt. Killed the bear. Possibly. Oh, what a friend! Oh, we do! It's Mephiris. Mephiris. Damage. That's basically all it gives you. Not. I figured it would give you dominion over well minions. No, no, no. Not that kind of lord. No, no, no. What was the fun in there? That's what I'm saying. And this right here is the shrine of Mayrun's Dagon. So that's fun. Dagon is the, uh, Mayrun's Dagon is the main antagonist of Oblivion. Although we haven't gotten to the point where he's shown up in, in, in our Oblivion version. Meanwhile, on the other side of the mountain, Oh, look, it's a bun. Hi, bun. Okay, 
Sounded like it might be combat. Do you think? So I was just wondering. Nope. Ice Wizard fighting Fire Wizard is a like, encounter that you can get in vanilla Skyrim. I get it quite frequently. I'm surprised that this is like the first time we've gotten it. It might not. Alright, now I'd like to just discover this location without aggroing every bandit in it. Fort Fellhammer is still way over there. I can't remember where we need to go to Fort Fellhammer. I'm sure there was a move. Places seem seen better days. Hall of the Vigilant. So this used to be where the Vigilants of Stendar hung out. Master Vampire, eh? I guess we know what happened here. Correctly, in the vanilla game, the Hall of Vigilance is uh, destroyed, but not like literally on fire. But if you have the Dawn Guard DLC, then it's burned down. What have we? Oh, it's actually down there. So what's the, what's the road I followed all the way up here for? Well, take it and find out. The so.
like it keeps going up. Is it a bunny or something? Dim Hollow Crypt. Okay. This is a location that we are sent to in the Dawn Guard DLC. So no point in going. No point in going in right now. We can't complete it. We'll just uh, kind of skate our way down the mountain. Looks a lot like Christmas around here. Are you still in Frostfall? Uh, yes, the month is still Frostfall. We are on the 12th of Frostfall, specifically. And here we are, at Scenic. Time to end this game. Uh... Here you are at Scenic, someone getting their ass kicked. Who in name are you? Speak. Or I'll cut you down where you stand. Frostmere Crypt is... Oh, I was part of the gang in the ruins here. A friend of mine went crazy and stole the boss's sword. They blamed me for it. Look, I'm done here. Mop the floor with these idiots for all I care. Just get out of my way. I like her. Okay. She's how I wish I could treat 90% of everybody. Get out of my way. I'll murder you. Okay. Bounty cures. Kill Lisa and Regier on sight. A hundred gold to whoever brings me their head. Okay. Um, there is a, a short little quest in here, but it's really basically just to complete this dungeon. Um, we'll do that eventually. But I have other things to do today. You know. Only so much time before December Ween. Are you a wild horse? I think you are. The Lasmotherium. a brief fight here. So yeah. Like I said, it's pretty brief. Plain bandits do not last long as shines. And this place right here is Wingward Ruins, I want to say. It's not really a dungeon here, it's just more like a place. Ah, Windward Ruins, that was right. what that is. Hey, Luna! Okay. This is part of the master level destruction spell quest. I do not see anything that can be making that uh, roaring. 
so. But yeah, Luna, no no worries. I know that things get hectic, so don't feel bad that you've missed a few streams. And remember, they're always uploaded to YouTube, so you can always see the garbage that you missed that was probably not worth watching in the first place. Okay. Here we are at Scenic Dawn Star. The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. Yeah, that's because I'm killing people. Now, here in Dawn Star, we have a brief quest. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. That we need to, uh, Deal with before we can really do much of anything else. You beasts are the worst. I think I got clean. Come now, dearie. Surely we aren't all that bad. Just leave me alone. I brought your mead. Now drink it and shut your filthy mouths. Oh, we've got other things in mind for our mouths, sweetie. What's a damn? Test? It has to be. I I've got to get out of this town. What are you looking at? Know about them? <laughs> Lass, you're looking at them. My name is Stig Saltplank, one of the captains of the Blood Horkers. Aye, the war keeps the Empire and the locals too busy to worry about us. Halden calls it our golden age. Our secret ingredient, if you will. A battle mage of fearsome cunning. Runs the Blood Horkers. Make sure the battles end right side up. Well, I can't just tell that to any skeever that washes up. Why not? From the look of you, I'm guessing you're more looking to cause some trouble for the Horkers. He's very perceptive. Nah, it would be my pleasure. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Come on. I'll have your head. Go ahead. I'll, I'll spot you if you. What do you guys think? You think he's, uh... You think, you think that he's, uh... He's gonna win this? Okay. <laughs> I knocked him down in one punch. fought, you swinging bit of skeever bait. Yeah. What are you looking at? Haldon will take my hide for this, but Skyrim's been feeling a bit confining lately. We draw a council at Jaffet's Folly. The fools in Windhelm won't go near it, which is fine by us. If you'll pardon me now, my crew needs gathering. Should be in Hammerfell before the other hawkers know who let slip their secret. Okay. What troubles you, my daughter? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. That's fair. In any other circumstance, I'd agree with you. However, these aren't normal dreams. The Daedric Lord Vermina's voracious hunger for memories is responsible for these visions. The nightmares are an echo of her presence as she feeds. Okay. Our need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. Sure. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me. And help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Sure. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Okay. 
So, we pretty much have to do this quest. Like, I mean, you don't have to have to, but, like, the game really wants you to do this quest as soon as you get to Dawnstar, so... This way. Okay. Could you? It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people, helplessly watching them suffer as being difficult. Yeah. You want to kick it into high gear? Divine safe. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man Horik is wearing his old legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. Okay, so that's the Jarl of Dawnstar. My prayers were answered. Your reason for stumbling across Dawnstar. Uh, coincidence. So, as a Jarl, um, Sklad is, uh, shall we say, terrible. Um, extremely paranoid. Are you gonna... Just gotta stick with this guy like glue. Extremely paranoid and has a very, very inflated sense of Dawnstar's importance. Um, basically, he thinks that the Empire will be launching an attack on Dawnstar at any time and that he needs to... Uh, keep his soldiers, like, on high alert to prevent it. Um, there's really no reason for the Empire to do that. Uh, Dawnstar has no real significant uh, strategic value, um, except as an access point to Winterhold. And honestly, you could just sail around it. Dawnstar is so small. I would really appreciate it if you could, like, maybe kick it into gear here. Like, I know that dress probably isn't very warm, but come on. So yeah, he's super paranoid and also a uh, hundred percent believes in the Stormcloak cause to the point that he thinks that the outcome of the war is a foregone conclusion and that nothing, not even dragons, can possibly threaten Dawnstar because, you know, they're on the side of Talos and, like, that means they're definitely going to win and nothing bad will ever happen. Uh, he's an idiot. Those two ex-Imperial Legion officers, uh, they are going to be put in charge if Dawnstar falls to the Empire. And obviously they are much more level-headed. So glad to have you on my side here, Arandor, with your level nothing frost spells, or fire spells. Alright, so here we are, Nightcaller Top.
Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. Kind of like this plot. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. Okay. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just take your time, buddy. I'm moving. I'll have this open. Spiffy. Easily done. Damn it. The priest must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Okay. Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Okay. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. That's fair. I spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Marla. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. Sounds plausible. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Somebody who keeps encouraging me to just up here. Yeah, I know it's just up here. It's right. Uh, I'm looking right at it. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the awakened within. Okay. Well, I've got a solution for that.
see a lot of burned books. There's some unburned ones too. This library used to be filled with unburned volumes. Now Okay, you, you two take care of him. Right. I'll just... I don't need to sneak anymore. We'll lose her when it gets her back. Sixteen Accords of Madness. That sounds like a great book. Uh, Oblivion. Sounds like he uh, bit off more than he can chew. I think we'll be here for a bit waiting for his return. So I'm just going to kind of short circuit this quest a little bit and grab the one book that he actually needs. The Dreamster. Now let's go help his dumbass. Interruptions. Perhaps we can locate the information I need. Okay. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Found it. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as. Vermina's torpor. Yes, the torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. I mean, yeah, that's amazing. So far, amazing. Yes. yes, alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, so, I have yet to see it function in person. Like this is basically LSD. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. I mean, I've already uh, All aligned myself to in the east wing. Mara, we proceed, Oethia... We should be able to locate a like, sample. Name a deity and I am probably associated with them. Yeah, seriously. One's the library. You remind me of one of those people at the end of the world that just starts praying to every god in the hopes that one of them is right. In my case, uh, like, in fairness, I know that the gods actually do exist. Because, you know, they literally talk to me. Yes, but which one is right? All of them. I ruin a lot of things. Now that they've been dealt with, we need to find the torpor. It should be in a small ball, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor. You find it, bring it to me. Lock. 
Lots of alchemy stuff in here. Yes, my what is it I can help you Resist shock. Giant's turn. Two Daedra hearts. Ooh, we finally got our last uh, ice wraith teeth. Discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drake. Wait. Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. And you definitely will not be taking advantage of me, like, Let's continue. while I'm unconscious. Eh. You know what? You're a bit of a gambler. I'm a gambler. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varith. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But brother, we have no alternative. It's the will of their leader. And what about you, brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of their Mina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Can do, buddy. Oh, I can't move that. Did you guys... Yeah, thanks. There you go. Out of my way. After drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side, I've never seen anything quite like it. Yep. After what you just experienced, you are not amazed? I'm at a loss for words. For once. Indeed. 
Our reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. I will do that. We must get to the skull and destroy it. But first, I want to check something real quick. Miss that leather. That could come in handy. No. Don't you need a few yards of it? I do not think I need yards of it. <laughs> really? There's no. Oh. Good enough. Oh, I'll take that. So, we know from our vision that there were more pixels along the way. Oh, hey, archery raised to 100. Okay. We're going to take knee shot and then honestly I'm not sure I guess we could start working on destruction magic. I think so. Destruction and Resurrection? Um, what's Snowy Firebolt? Mm, pretty weak. Mm. I guess we'll do Thundercrack. Apparently it has a very short reach. Definite close range band blast. Okay. So yeah, that's that gonna work for you. Yeah. That's fine though. We do have our bow still, which we can use as in case a things get hairy. backup, yeah. Vermina's devotion. Let's 
see what that does for us. Oh, Vermina's Devotion. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem to do much of anything. Once we get up to uh, Destruction 25, we'll be able to cast Destruction spells for half magicka, and that will solve the running out of magic every few rounds problem in a way. you're alive! No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I i was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Okay. Time to go. Uh, the guy I'm with was one of these guys and uh, he basically betrayed them and uh, there I go. Did you go stick this thing in a skull? Here he is. Mace of Avir Stones. I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Probably. And had they succeeded, Dawnstar's fate would be sealed. You have a unique way of looking at things, my friend. Yeah, it's the cat eyes. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, okay. An incantation to remove the barrier. So there's actually two ways this quest can end. The first way is if we allow him to complete his ritual, 
he will destroy the Skull of Corruption and uh, we'll be able to recruit him as a companion. We will not be doing that. glitched out. Uh, so, hold on one second. You can fix this through console commands. It obviously did not like that I did that so quickly. And A sixteen, so let's see. No, 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 no. What's the format for set stage? set stage, then the quest ID, and then the stage number that I want. So I want set stage. I don't think the tabs matter. TA-16. I and think... Let's hear, uh, I need your help quick. One second. I think 199. I dropped stitches, so I had to restart. But I think 210 stitches wide is a bit much. If you there. Look. Wow, that is quite a lot of blank. Yeah, I 
think I'm going to reduce the size, but like a lot. <laughs> but now I have to start over, so all that work today is uh, redone. I'm sorry. Eh. So, well, let's take a look at the Skull of Corruption. 20 points of damage increases to 50 if powered with dreams collected from sleeping people. So it's one of the more unique items. If you shoot it at someone who is asleep, then you'll steal their dream and power up the staff for one shot. Each dream you steal is worth one shot of 50 base power energy damage. It's pretty cool and actually one of the more viable uh, artifact weapons in the game. Like, if you wanted to use a Daedric artifact to get through it, uh, the Skull of Corruption is certainly one of the easier ones to do that with. But, having secured the Skull of Corruption, Dawnstar is no longer uh, under whatever kind of tragedy they were under. And it's day-ish. So we can run down there. And we've got several quests to start. First of all, let's talk to the Jarl. There's no honor in being a Jarl's servant. No sovereign guard waits for the task. The nightmares in Dawnstar have lifted, and I hear you help that happen. You have my thanks. I'm looking for one. Giants are a common problem at the Pale. The Empire always demanded I leave them be, but the Empire isn't here now. Go and slay one of the beasts. To let them know that Dawnstar is not to be trifled with. Sure. I'm counting on you. Good luck with the giant. Don't get stepped on. In case you hadn't noticed, giants tend to be mostly passive and only attack people when people like mess with them. Mess with them so more evidence that he is a terrible person. Oh, Need a dagger, no? Excellent. I thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. The finest weapons and armor. I'm sure. Oh. Ooh. Two enchantments at once. Destruction and alteration. I'm tempted to keep that, actually. I mean, I'll need to disenchant it anyway. Regardless. So I guess I am keeping it, but here, have some candlesticks. Um, let's see. Yeah. Cyrodelic Silver Short Sword of Ice. East Empire Pendants will be useful to us when we get to Solstein, but until then, there's no point in uh, trying to get rid of them. We won't get anywhere near as much. Flood Varla Stones. Lesser. Okay. Yep. Take all my shoes.
Hooded robes of the Dread Master. Uh, I don't know if we got that in check. I don't know if we got that in check. Oof. Oh, I'm not wearing my magic deflector. I probably should. Back if you need steel. Let's see. I have a letter here for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Looks like that's it. How to go. I help my husband Rustleif run the forge. He's a marvel with steel. <laughs> Over here, had the mortar and pestle. The mortar and pestle makes potions. If you can't tell the name, just step up. The mortar and pestle has cured. How kind! More coin means more supplies, and that means more useful bomb. Ah, so you're yep. an alchemist then? Don't worry, I'll let you talk at some point. But for right now, I'm mostly just using you for. Selling stupid shit. Yep. We we'll want to sell all those necromancer robes. Yep. Uh huh. Not a hundred percent sure that I've got the restoration necklace, so we'll keep that Sarthal amulet. We need to keep on us for the time being. Uh, let's see here. Sithis's razor. It's cool, but it's not unique. Skull of corruption. I don't think I want to sell that. It's, you know, a Daedric artifact. Oh, we got some soul tomatoes. Do we have literally anything? I can sell one steel dagger. Come here. Let me know if you come. I hope you. My husband. We used to go out into the wilds and collect ingredients together. He used to call me his pretty juniper. It's quite Is that bad. back when you were attractive? If you're an alchemist. Frost took the old fool a few seasons back while he was looking for the ring of pure mixtures. Yeah, that's right. I found the ring's resting place after he died. But I'm far too old to go exploring some cave now. Yeah, that's fair. Well, aren't you sweet? I'd be happy to give you some alchemy training in exchange for the ring if you bring it to me. Okay. If you find that ring, I probably will, maybe. The ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oats on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is open. I beg you. Don't go into Silas's museum. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. They're the bad guys his from Oblivion. Family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, 
and this museum to the mythic dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Well, I'm also mis misguided. That museum is a mistake. And here comes my first visitor. The museum of the mythic dawn is open, friend. Uh, sure. Never mind that. Medina is a good woman, but I have my own reasons for opening this museum, and I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Well, I am good at jobs. Let's talk inside. <laughs> Silas Vesuvius. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here. The commentaries on the Mysterium Zoss were written by the mythic dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died. That they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Merun's Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with the dye made from sacrificial blood. And we don't want to talk about that? Okay. Yes, I did. This is the only place in the game you can get the Mythic Dawn commentaries. So. You can't actually take that. And unfortunately, getting this without him noticing is really difficult. Like, I can pick it. But I don't think I can get stuff in it. All right. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Let's start about this A job. little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. That's fair. One of these groups found Merun's razor. The artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. Mm. That was almost a hundred and fifty years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. Convenient. At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Okay. Good luck finding the fragments. My friend, you have a bad... Bad habit. Bad habit of watching. If I could just convince you to kindly not. It's 
might still have a portion of invisibility. Nope. Hmm. We will have another chance to get it. But yeah. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. So we'll have to come back and get those. But we can. We will have opportunity. Um, we'll head down here. This is the Dawn Star Sanctuary for the Dark Brotherhood. That becomes relevant in the Dark Brotherhood quest line, obviously, but it's not relevant to us right at this time. Let's head over and see what these boats are doing. Uh, hello, Slaughterfish. I have no idea what this book is here for. Assuming that it's related to a quest, but probably a mod added one because so many of the quests. Quicksilver mine is the best mine in Dawnstar. Pretty much our luck as far as quests being to us. There's one more. thinks I'm too young to be a ship's captain. Ah, okay. I'm going to prove them wrong. This is the guy I was looking for. By inheritance, as my men are fond of saying, can't blame them. My mother ran the sea squall as strictly as she ran the house. I've been trying to find new areas of business, trying to win the sailor's respect, but I keep having problems. Take the last trade we did. Some fine cut void salts from the College of Winterhold. Plenty of coin if you know who to sell it to. Okay. Sailors are what happened to them. They got drunk and ended up losing the merchandise in some cave. If you're not afraid of a little exploring, I'll pay good gold to get those salts. Sure. I guess he's feeling salty. Ha 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 ha. I don't like taking orders from a boy, not but I need to go. The days I got left I'm sorry. The water. My mind was just somewhere else. Do you need a room? Drink. Okay. So that's pretty much the quests for Dawnstar. And JK Skyrim adds this general store 
Otherwise, there is no general store in Dawnstar, which kind of sucks if you need to sell things. What do you need? Take a look. Okay, where were we? Down here a ways. Yep. Okay. Keep the skull of corruption. got a lot of books and stuff to drop off at home. Okay. We'll keep Vermina's robes because those are difficult to come by. Pretty sure I've got a conjuration. Jacks, we don't need. There. Good day. Yay, hey, we're under a thousand pounds. So, we've got a lot of stuff sending us to solitude, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to Elf Tand. Special, just a miner who swings a pickaxe for his drinking money. Beetle, got any ale or mead? Uh, yeah, actually. There. Yeah, yeah. Let's, can we get out this way? Yes. I say it's a bit foggy. Alright, so that's Nightcrawler Temple. Imperial camp. It's really foggy. Jeez. The Winter Hold Imperial Camp.
bother the hadrosaurs fun to attack the wolves. This is Frostful Lighthouse, which has a kind of semi-interesting... Uh, it's not really a quest, but I guess I guess you might call it an unmarked quest. Um, it's cool. Uh, we're not going to be doing it today, but we will revisit it. I want, I want the lavender. Am I not able to get that potion? I guess not. Okay, whatever. Alphatand awaits. Ideally in better weather, but you know, we'll take a look at that. And that I guarantee you that's a dragon. Really? Did I not hit it? I might not have. to see. Okay, it's not a dragon, maybe this is a rock. Kind of okay. How oh, good they got distracted by cow.
shoot a bit work to Nightcrawler Temple. It's not really cheap. It is faster though, buddy. Yes. Yeah, it's, this weather is terrible. Really nice if it cleared up, but I don't know if it will. Can't you count on it? Nothing between us and Elf Tand. I'm gonna fast travel to Wayward Pass, and then we'll approach from the south. I was kind of hoping that by fast traveling it would clear the weather, but it has not. No, that's fine. I would still like to fight those dragons if they're around, but it's a big if. this time. That might be a good thing. Oh, wait. Yes. There they are. Could have. Yeah. Okay, let's pop a quick save. Clearly I need to actually use my bow here. Like these things are too difficult to take out, especially in this weather. So 
let's get some. He might have just fled. Yeah, that's fine. I just needed the one. I, I guess I don't. I need two. Um. So let's unlock that. And also, we can go back to using firebolt to train up our destruction. So, Alftan. Septimus Sigmus told us that this was something about the way he to Black Ridge. Obviously, a hasty camp was set up here and abandoned. Expedition Manifest. Various Persons. Feel free to mock me for my inability to take down two mechanical dragons with my feeble magic skills. <laughs> this leads the way to Alftand Glacial Ruins. And this is the pathway towards Black Ridge. So you can see some of their expedition stuff here. Ruined campfire. Bring the veil. What does that mean? Oh, okay. I've definitely got that enchantment already. No, I don't need a loot. Thank you, though. I'll pass on the shovel as well. As you can see, Elftand has been buried. It used to be... Oh. Where is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Tizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. Who are 
a big boy. Call this cheap, but bear in mind the alternative is I just kill it with my bow really fast. I'll take the method where I have some risk. Built it up faster. Dwarven Keeper Centurion is an immersive creature's creature based on the giants. Uh, sure, we'll go with Flame Affinity. Doesn't really help us much, but at least every not little, every little bit. Not immediately, anyway. We have a new speech perk. What's this? Oh yeah, I'll take that. What is this one? Oh, that's only when we're not wearing armor. Okay. So which one will you legendary of your skills? Um, sneak is a good uh, option because it usually doesn't uh, like it, it gets built up pretty easily. Sneak doesn't, like, being bad at sneak doesn't cripple me. Plus, you can lift sneak by just sneaking back on some of these. Yeah. Okay. Can't get through that yet. Okay. level of destruction and we'll get a steep reduction in the cost of our destruction spells. So that will be cool.
see a lot of blood over here. This is where uh, we spiked that potion, actually. Uh, we found a potion through a fence. Trail. Who is this Behind me. Thanks for keeping me locked in there so that I just had to tank it. Didn't jerk. Whatever. Czar and whatever the other one was. Alright, uh Okay, so it looks like uh, uh that guy was on Skuma. And ended up flipping the fuck out because there was no skooma available and this guy had intentionally brought him down here to get him off of skooma but I didn't want so yeah Pistons allow you to get up here. Now we're good. I don't know that you're intended to go this way. Pretty sure, in fact, this is not the best way.
Check. to the animal quarry, whatever. I'm gonna leave that for later. I've seen a lot of these broken down machines, so we're still in the territory where the expedition is still coming through. Dwemer Spectres are uh, the voice of the creatures. Okay. Yeah, he said the center cannot hold. Also, I'm curious what this does. Okay. He had an absolutely adorable crossbow face. Crossbow to the face? No, his face was a crossbow. No. Oh. Oops. Guess there's a little bit of a gas build up in here. It's okay, there will definitely be a million more of them. Okay, so. Let's see. Can't go this way. 
let's take a look at the side passage. I should take a nap in one of these beds and then wind up a million miles away doing the Dark Brotherhood stuff. Alright, so that's most likely where we're supposed to go. Oh, never mind. Prentice locked, that means that it's actually not a required path, but an optional one. They will only ever lock the required path behind a novice level lock at least. If only I had a more effective spell here, but I don't. I guess I do technically infernal, but all right. So we caught up with ourselves. So I was right. This was a suit. Let's take a look at the Elf Tand and the War. That is a hard word to say. Falmer Shield. You know what that means, guys. This is going to be a Falmer Dungeon. Blank squad. Yep. Intense Flames, third. Alright, first thing we're going to do is go down here. Send Maybe blood. Do a quick save because these things can't go even naked. I will in a Because I know that this area is, is Endrast. He's got several, uh... Okay, um... Or your sword of hail. That's kind of cool. I hear. Spear. Oh, spears are cool. So now we have a small chance every time we cast a fire spell that we'll cast it a second time. Well, that will help. increases our DPS base. 
Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go a little bit further into Elftan before calling it a night. I don't know why I collect the Dwemer Gyros. They don't do anything for you. See here you can look down and you can see that guy who's in hiding spot. I think you're intended to see that from up here and then go down and find it in person. You want to be careful of these things because... Well, I think Cranny's not going to decide on but it can trigger a trap that is actually kind of deadly. Okay. Okay. Go. Oh, descending deeper into Alpha. What are you doing down there? So yeah, this continues down for quite a ways. Come on. Give me some eggs. Give me some eggs. Break me off a piece of them chorus eggs. I don't know if it's chorus or chorus or what is how what the correct pronunciation is. I don't think they know either. Sneak snap ninety nine. I grabbed a fork. I don't even know why. I, now that I have lockpick at 75, uh, my lockpicks start very close to the correct position. No, I want the book. What other skills do you back down legendary-wise. Um, lockpick is a good one because you'll constantly have the ability to practice it. Um, honestly, any of the fighting ones are fine. As long as you have, so long as you have something to back it up with, yeah. It's not having... Like, if I, if I made Archery Legendary right now, and couldn't rely on being amazing with my bow, 
as a backup for being terrible with my fireballs, you that would be very bad. Trouble. Yeah. Okay. At this point, I believe they want you to take a leap of faith. stuff. Like I said, the difference between archaeology and grave robbing is how much time has passed. And she's still got meat on her, so uh, not much time has passed. So this was technically grave robbing. Don't be rude. Okay. And still deeper. I like the aesthetic of Drummer Ruins. I just don't like the reality of having to fight Falmer and shit in them. Nice try. I don't know if that's going to hit anyone on the way down, but I hope it does. Is there a reason why you have a jet of flame shooting directly? You know what, never mind. The dwarves are going to dwarf. Draugr. That, that's a Draugr that's been mecked up. It's, that's freaky. Alright, so Merchant Hat. A lot of fairly useless stuff.
Okay. I just figured this will make my whole my whole job. They've got the mushrooms set up over that, like, fire, like they're roasting on, like it's a hibachi or something. Dragon plate insulated helmet. Dang. Stone ingot. Okay. Former years and some ruined books, which I took one of. Why that one just decided to walk away, but it's not bad. Oh wait, is it true? Because I have a perk that makes it so that enemies will run. Just wander away? Enemies will run away when they are at low health and they're hit by a fire attack. Sometimes there's a chance each time they get hit. Okay, so. Obviously, the expedition did not end super well.
Uh, looks like this is where they uh, process them. Process. Yeah. I don't think I want to know what that means, but I think I do. That's gross. Yep. Look, if people didn't want to be eaten, then why are they made of it? Good point. Thank you. Alright, so... I'm gonna go up this way. So this is the glacial ruins again. Earlier area. Sacks. Uh, remember this passageway right here where we couldn't get through before? Now we can. So if we wanted to leave, that's a shortcut out. But we don't want to leave yet. We have such sights. So yeah, basically the uh, entire expedition got in. Or otherwise died. I shouldn't say that they necessarily all got at. Some of them probably didn't. The, the cat people didn't get at. They just... One killed the other and then I killed the, the one that lived. Kira would be very dangerous if she had any sense of aim whatsoever. Okay. So, where are we now? Um, this place looks like trouble. I'm going to say that we are in danger. Nowhere to go but here. And Cathedral. Not to be confused with the Winchester Cathedral, which is a song from the 30s. Winchester Cathedral. That, that's literally all I know of the song, so. Yeah. But it, it is a song, it does exist. Big world. 
which makes me a little nervous. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, sound more. Maybe it's just gonna run around like the blues. Okay. Why do you want to give me a run around? up here in just a minute as soon as I finish looting all of this stuff. Apparently people are uh, upset that uh, Bethesda didn't uh, reveal anything more about uh, Elder Scrolls 6 this year. I'm pretty sure that they said at the beginning of this year, back at E3, that, hey, don't get your hopes up. Elder Scrolls 6 is not coming out this year. It's going to be a while. At this point, I don't care what Bethesda does. They've lost all love for me. I mean, you know... They're a big company. They're obviously evil, but uh, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to Elder Scrolls Six as much as the next guy. But like, I mean, I I, I genuinely did not even consider a possibility that it would come out this year. So, and I mean, Starfield isn't even out yet, and Starfield is definitely the next one that's coming out. So I don't know why people would be expecting. Uh, Elder Scrolls 6 when we're still waiting on the game that they will definitely release before Elder Scrolls 6. Elder Scrolls 6, aka Stop the Elder Scrolls I Want to Get Off. AKA Revenge of the Nerds. Okay. Well, guys, I think this is a good enough place to leave it off. We're delving even deeper into Elftand, and before too much longer, we're going to hit Black Reach. So that'll be cool. Until then, though, uh, it's time to save and quit. We've got two more nights of Skyrim mess ahead of us. Friday and Saturday. Um, probably no stream on Christmas Day, but who knows? Who knows with me? I'm random, and that's why people don't tune in. Uh, so, thank you guys for, for watching tonight, and uh, until next time, see ya.